Octopus Prime with the Cooter Report for the Skeptic Fence Show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to bag me some horn kickers tonight. This week we have a little something special for you on the Cooter Report. What we're going to do is show you uh, a bunch of the stupid previous Cooter Award winners and some other new people and what they had to say about what would happen if gay marriage was legalized via the Supreme Court. We've had these Supreme Court decisions, you know, that are against biblical marriage. And, and the Lord said to me, duck your head. Duck your head. I said, oh, God, duck your my head. There's not one single civilization that has survived that has openly embraced homosexuality. In the United States, in its official policy, establishes homosexual sodomy as a basis for marriage under the Constitution. That's a whole new ball game, and uh, I, I'm predicting that we're going to see uh, some kind of calamity and judgment is going to occur. If this uh, Supreme Court rules against marriage, all hell is going to break loose. What could come down from the Supreme Court thing, this could start an unraveling where our country fractures like it hasn't since the Civil War. Uh, I mean, it, they talk about a Civil War, we could have another one over this. You must prepare for martyrdom. I don't know what it's going to look like, but it's coming. They're toying with something that's like dynamite and will destroy our country. Do you, you think so? I think that eventually, over a period of time, it will. We are going to begin to train ourselves for nonviolent resistance and civil disobedience. We're going to begin to train ourselves for boycotts and sit-ins. We're not going to bow, we're not going to bend, and if necessary, we will burn. Same-sex marriage is so pervasive, it will have a huge impact on everybody that we're going to run into that decision point of persecution and or revolution. So we were hearing a lot of talk about revolution. Uh, well, revolution is at hand. You could have, you know, I hate to use the word, but I mean a, a revolt, a revolution. I mean, I think you could see Americans saying, you know what, enough of this. And I think it could explode and just break this nation apart. This country cannot continue to violate God's principles and to, to uh, <clears throat> make a mockery of his laws and think we're going to get away with it. And when the blow comes, it's going to be horrible. Well, Pat, the blow has come. Uh, gay marriage is now legal. But now, now that it's been legalized, of course, it's got to go from fear-mongering at a level of like 10 to now they got to turn it up to an 11. Get a load of this shit. 626, that's today, June 26, 2015. 626 is now our 9-11. From a moral standpoint... 626 is the new 911 because it was on this day that five justices of the United States Supreme Court became moral jihadists. They became rainbow jihadists and they blasted the twin pillars of truth and righteousness into rubble. And they did this by imposing sodomy based marriage on the United States through an act of judicial. Tyranny. So, so for all of you out there wondering, uh, he was totally in favor of tyrannical judgments, which were there to deny basic civil rights to gay people, like the right to get married. Totally okay when the law was catering to his bigotry. But now that it's changed, it's the new 9-11 when the twin towers of, you know, Brian Fisher's fucking morality came crashing down. And, of course, the complete irony of this is that the Muslim extremists that flew those planes into those towers on 9-11 thought they were doing the moral thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, what this means is that we, the people, have ceased to be our own rulers. We are now serfs on a plantation that's being run by cultural elites 
who wear black robes and use their gavels like the slaveholders of old used to use their whips to beat us as social conservatives into abject submission. Uh, okay, wait. Did he just go from it's it's the new 9-11 to now it's slavery? It's the new slavery too? And these, we don't rule ourselves anymore. Now judges get to make decisions according to the law. Who would have fucking figured? And I noticed that I didn't hear too much about uh, the gavel being a whip that whips you into your social conservatives into submission when it was ruling in favor of like Hobby Lobby. Hmm? This guy just has a bigoted twig up his ass and he just cannot get rid of it. That's the parallel we've got here. Draw another parallel with Pearl Harbor today. June 26, 2015, is a date which will live in infamy. <laughs> yeah, because the day that gays got basic fucking civil rights and the right to get married was, was the day that was 9-11, slavery, and fucking Pearl Harbor all rolled into one. How, how many people died as a result of, of this, Brian, you dipshit? How many people are, like, dead? Hmm? Because I, I can think of a lot of people that died through 9-11, slavery, and Pearl Harbor. And yet, zero. Zero. Unless some fucking nutty-ass Republican conservative that might listen to you goes on a fucking shooting rampage. Now, you got religious liberty issues involved, and I appreciate all that. And we've got a fight to protect religious liberty, and, and, and we'll engage in that fight full bore, because that's clearly at risk now. But the more deeper issue here is that on this day... Behavior, which is an abomination in the eyes of a holy and just God, has been normalized, it has been promoted, it has been celebrated. I, I can't, I'm not sure. Is he talking about Lobster Fest at Red Lobster? That abomination that's been promoted and normalized and celebrated because that that's exactly what it fucking sounds like. I don't see any pickets around fucking Red Lobster from the Christians saying, oh no, it says right here in the Bible. And it has been imposed on a nation that was built on the bedrock of Judeo-Christian values. And I would submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, on this day, the United States became Sodom and Gomorrah. Your God doesn't rule this fucking nation. We have a constitution. We have a fucking declaration of independence. We have a Supreme Court. We have fucking judges who decide on the laws, not your fucking preachers or pastors, not your Bible or other fucking holy texts, none of that shit. Get it through your stupid fucking head, Brian Fisher. And it is all of the fucking stupid Republicans throwing a hissy fit, but especially Brian Fisher, that win their cooter award for being the dumbest horn kickers I could find this week. Until next time. Cooter! And a quick shout out to Scope Too Low for being the Cooter patron for the Skeptic Fence Show. Check out our other uh, rewards and stuff, and big thanks to all our patrons, especially you, Scope Too Low.